So today we're talking about everything I accomplished so far in 2022. It's currently January 31st and uh, somehow I was able to make some progress with my business goals and relationship stuff. So uh, we're just gonna jump right in. This is the first time I'm doing these kinds of videos. Um, I wanna be really honest and share how I'm doing from financial to mental health. So you're gonna get the juicy deets. First of all, how am I doing financially? So in the month of January, I set some goals and I'm going to share them with you guys right now. Um, I actually have my notebook right here. I wanted to have a very financially secure year this year. And what I mean by that is not just having a lot of money in just a bank account, but having money sit in places where I know it's going to grow long term and have me feel a little bit more at ease if maybe I miss a few paychecks here and there. My main source of income is my agency X8. And sometimes payments can come late, like brands send us money, but with our contracts, sometimes it's net 30 days till we receive payment or net 60 sometimes. And although I have a lawyer and you know we have contracts where like we you know do things professional, um, things just take time and one of the things I want to do is have something called an emergency fund So I wrote down in my journal that I really want to have a Emergency fund in a high yield like savings account or high earning account where I've set it aside It's earning 10% a year um, Annually and it just sits there if I need I take it I have like some money in crypto which I consider more like money that I play with like these are where i buy nfts ethereum like this is money where like i will play with but i want money like where i just set aside currently my goal for my emergency fund is fifteen thousand, um which is a i i feel like a hefty goal to achieve i wrote down i want to achieve it in uh, six months but I, I really actually want to achieve it in three months and the way i'm doing this is i'm actually dividing it um each month i put in uh three thousand dollars uh, until I hit 15. I might do a little bit more, but so far this month I've actually put in 1500 and I'm gonna put another 1500 today. So I'm, I'm achieving my goal. I think there's a question around like how much money do you really need to have in savings? And I think that's like so different for anybody. So I think for me, what I like to have is something called a uh, runway. So like I calculate how much it costs to live my life multiplied by three to five months. You know, I live in Southern California. Um, my monthly expenses are around 4K to 4.5K, depending on, um, you know, my month. But that's including everything from, you know, taxes, like my personal taxes to like health insurance, everything. And if you guys wanna see a video about how much it costs to live in LA, I will link it over here. I currently have another account in my bank account where I have um, savings and cash, but I wanted money in like, crypto where I think it can earn more interest than 2% in a bank account. There's one called Vesper Finance. The way I would describe it is it's like a bank where instead of paying you in fiat for interest, it pays you in fiat and another token that, you know, it fluctuates in price, but it can also go up. So I'm looking at Vesper Finance and I'm also looking at my dad sent me something called Anchor Protocol. And I don't know anything about it, but if you want a video on how to invest for like intermediary people, like I'm not talking about like Coinbase buying, but like yield farming let me know that is my first goal hopefully that makes sense and i will keep you guys along updated with that journey another thing that i achieved this month is i launched a project at my agency with warner brothers i landed a project with them around a month and a half ago and we were in charge of promoting a new show on cartoon network which warner brother owns cartoon network uh, called we baby bears it's a really fun campaign our agency was in charge of doing their tiktok marketing so we hired eight content creators to promote the show we just launched like literally today and I have to write a summary. Uh, we were promoting a Cartoon Network show and it went really well. I've never worked with Cartoon Network before, but they've been really helpful. I really like the team. And um, yeah, we finished it just today. Um, another thing I achieved in the financial sphere or business sphere is I filed my taxes. So if you guys don't know, um, if you're like a company or LLC, you're supposed to uh, pay your quarterly taxes. So every quarter you pay your taxes. So I just paid January 15th for last year But I this is my first time doing it normally I just pay on April 15th But mainly because when you pay taxes, you don't want your money just to be sucked out Like it's easier to, if you have it, you know, slowly and surely every quarter the government just takes your money um, So yeah, I just filed my taxes this year um, already. I feel already ahead of the game Honestly, you guys I can make a whole video about this my first year paying taxes as a freelancer slash youtuber was a nightmare I did not even have the money. I made 
I think around $50,000 my first year of like YouTube. I owe the government, I think like around $3,500 or 5,000. I, I really forgot the number, but basically I did not have the five grand to pay the government because I spent all the $40,000 on my salary. So I've learned so much. Now, whenever I get a paycheck from a brand, I immediately allocate 30% to taxes in a high interest earning account. That's the, the truth of running a business, getting good at the boring shit. All right, we're moving into a fun update, you guys. So in January, um, I have been working on my other project called NF Treehouse, climate change startup, where we plant trees with creators and these trees, these physical trees are minted as NFTs. And our idea is to raise money for climate change, use these funds for good, plant more trees, and um, help creators engage with their audience in a fun, cool way. With that being said, if you're a creator watching this video, we actually just launched our Creator Partnerships landing page, which we'll screenshot here, I'll put a link below. Um, it's just creators.nftreehouse.com. If you're a creator and you wanna plant a tree with us, therefore like literally have your own tree, all you gotta do is sign up. Not only do you get to plant a physical tree and help reduce carbon emissions, launch your first NFT and know that you're doing good by doing so and earn um, some money. We've so far talked to creators like John Fish and Brandon Walsh and a few more names that I'm really excited to announce very soon. So if you're a creator with a YouTube, TikTok, Instagram following, go sign up. Um, you don't have to be in LA, but we are looking for US based creators, at least for this first round, but don't be shy to apply. Um, this ends on uh, February 15th. So go apply, you have two weeks from this video uploading and good luck. And if you're someone where you're like, you're not a creator, but you know someone, feel free to DM me. We are gonna work on a referral program where you can also earn tokens for referring us to a creator. So that is that. And feel free to DM me if you have any questions or comment on this video. I will try to get back to you as soon as possible. The last update I have for y'all is a relationship mental health update. I will be uploading this audio portion actually on my podcast called I'm Not an Expert, which you guys should check out. Um, I'm Not an Expert is a podcast where I just talk about everything from creator economy to Web3 to my life and realize that I'm not an expert on any of this, but it's okay to not know everything to teach something. So that's the mess with the podcast, but we're actually gonna have a extended version of this podcast there. So if you like the vibe of this, go check it out. I'm gonna be talking more about some life updates. And if you just listen to it in the car, you get to know more juicy details about my life. So check it out, I'll put the link below. It's called I'm Not an Expert on Spotify, Apple Music, wherever you listen to. In terms of my mental health, I'm actually doing really good. Like January has been a good month. I went to Portland with my boyfriend and it was great. Like I, so I don't even know where to begin because I don't think I've opened up about this, but basically, I have very big insecurity where I feel like I'm a burden to people, I'm not enough, and it stems from like a childhood thing, which I'm not gonna go into in this video, but I'm sure everyone can feel that way, like you're not enough. And essentially, I've been running into this problem where I feel like I'm not enough in my relationship, and I will like create situations where like I, it proves that I'm not enough. Like for example, when I was in Portland, I thought my boyfriend just hated me. Like I, I felt for some reason, I'm being so annoying, like I'm bothering him at work or something. You know, I'll be like, babe, are you annoying? He's like, no. And I just realized like I am looking for reasons why I'm not enough. And this month I've, I've been able to communicate that and, and I feel like I'm getting improvements. Like I'm really able to give my self compassion which is great I've never been able to do that before so yeah I'm just working on my mental health I'm working on improving you know the ability to remind myself that I'm not annoying and I'm, I am enough and it sounds like basic things but I feel like sometimes as humans we are so hard on ourselves we criticize us for everything what I do when I feel like I'm not enough is I first grab my journal and I write down why I don't feel like I'm enough so I write down you know I don't feel like I'm enough because I am not making enough money. I take that and I try to find the belief. So my belief is I am poor. Like say that's the d belief I have, right? So if I believe I'm poor and I'm not enough, then I'm gonna have thoughts that I don't have money, right? Get it? I ask myself like, where does that belief come from? Maybe it's because when I'm younger, I felt like I didn't have enough money to buy the things I wanted. Like I wanted a nice camera, I wanted to do YouTube and I personally didn't have it. So maybe it comes from, you know, not being able as a kid to get the toys or things I wanted. And my fear is I don't have the ability to control my situation. You know, I'm working on financial freedom and I've, I've been very diligent with saving money, paying taxes on time, being a good boss and like paying people. Like I'm, I've been doing it all. I am not poor, you know, like I gotta keep reminding myself like I am enough and my belief maybe came from the past, it's not true. And um, I'm working on that. So that's where I'm at with 
uh, my relationship, my feelings around money, my, you know, m my mental. Uh, I hope this is helpful to someone. If you are running into an issue where you feel like you have like this very negative belief about yourself, ask yourself where it comes from and it might be able to unlock some memory that might be traumatic, but understanding it helps you f know what to do with it to move forward. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Shout out to the comment winner. Uh, comment below. I'll see you guys in the next episode.